is Jade from Touch of Paint. I'm working on this beautiful antique buffet for my friend. Um, it is a custom job and we're doing something. She wanted to um, match a buffet that we did earlier with like purples and teals and white and it's gonna be really really pretty and i'm excited to share with you i washed it with tsp and um dawn and scrubbed it and in one of the videos i was showing you that um on the scrubber it was really really red and it was like the stain was coming off of it and that was something i wanted to explain to you that um when you're working with like older pieces like this that um when you're washing it and you notice it's like the really red like mahogany stain or like the darker stain or um and you can tell that it's not just dirt or it seems like it might be from a smoker's house it could just be that the finish is coming off and you're just washing the stain right out of it so you just want to do the best wash that you can and then um and then you're going to come and prime it because no matter what that piece is going to bleed so right now, um, I am priming it with a shellac base primer and pretty much sealing the wood and all the tannins that are in it. And then, um, and then I can begin painting. I wanted to show you there was, um, there was a lot of veneer that was peeling off on this drawer here. And um, we got most of it off on this one. Preston usually does this kind of stuff for me, but um, but he sanded it and it's it was still too raised. So I noticed that I could really hard. This is gonna be a job. But eventually all this is gonna come off. So I can paint it and everything, but, um, and then we'll sand it smooth and start painting this gorgeous piece of furniture. Hey everyone, it's Jade from Touch of Paint. Um, I'm back. I'm working on this gorgeous antique buffet and we're doing super fun colors. And I just said that I would share it with you and how we painted it. Um, using Waverly Agave and Waverly Elephant and um, whites and navy blues and some custom purple and um, all of that so I'm just gonna let you watch what I'm doing. Ooh, and I got a chalkbrush, a new chalkbrush from um, Lowe's and these are like $20, $25, but I love it. Chalk painting, <laughs> chalky paint and wax brush. It's very, it's it's like the longest. It's got lots of bristles. It holds a lot of paint. It's like, it's really smooth. I'm excited because I got a new brush. So. Now, when you're doing stuff like this and you just want to have fun, that's what I'm doing. I'm just going to town. I'm just going to have like a great time and create it like a piece of art and just put like different colors and all the details and wherever I just want to be. That's the fun part of being a furniture artist. You can do whatever you want. I'm gonna do a time lapse on this part because there's not really any blending or anything um, I can show you. It's just kind of placing colors here and there, and then um, so I'll do a time lapse now. And then when I get to the part where I'm doing blending paints and um, dry brushing, I will bring you in close and show you everything. My favorite thing about being a furniture artist is that I can just literally make this into a piece of art. It is so cool.
So when I'm making a purple, I take this gorgeous wine, Merlot, very nice. I take Merlot and I take my ocean blue to make the purple that I want. It creates like a really, really nice purple. We have ocean blue and the wine. And there we have it. Beautiful. I'm dying to do a piece in purple, like a whole piece in purple. That would be super fun to do. Just need somebody to say, I want a purple piece. This one, it's one of them. She said, I want some purple piece. So I did that on the other one. And it was the first time I've actually done that. And I'm glad she actually loves it. And so it was a home run. All this stuff is going to go under a coat of, um, so all these colors is, is just the base of what I'm going to do. And they're going to go under what is to come. So that way you have peaks of these little colors shining through everywhere and it's going to be so cool. She's just, she has all these fun, this girl, um, she has all these fun pieces at her salon in Gainesville, and it is so much fun, and I'm excited. This one's going to be right in, it's going to be right in the front of her salon, which is so cool. So I'm just going to show you how I do a little bit of blending. Um, we did all the fun colors underneath and then we I did dry brushing and painting in white and then now I'm going to come and do take a gave and go over it leaving the sides and the edges that the fun colors This is just a super artsy piece. I don't know if anybody could <laughs> replicate it. I don't know if I could replicate it, but this is how I do it. And I take a little bit of um, green and white. I don't really know what more I can explain, but just to show you what I'm doing. See, I do like See with all this detail, barely anything. Like it wouldn't even. There's barely anything on my brush. Wouldn't even come off like that. But we can get it off. This is dry brushing. 
And look at all that pretty detail on how to much dimension is still there. Hey there, Jade from Touch of Paint. Um, I did all this today and a lot I tried to show you, but because um, I left the sides because I knew that would be easier to explain um, how I did the front. So. I just love to layer layer paint um, because then when you it just gives it so much more there's just so much more to it than just a couple just one coat of paint and distressing I love to layer paint and just and when you distress it you get to see all those beautiful colors and the details, you leave some behind, you get to see all of that beautiful color. Um, she wanted purples and blues also, so I'm just going to go ahead and throw that in Then I take like a, a white and cream. They just kind of blur them together. using the same brush and everything. Just do the outside and then look how pretty that is. It's super fun and you can just go whatever you want. It's an art. It's whatever you want. Make this your own canvas. That's what I love to do. And then really I'm going to let this dry because then when I, when, um, I'll let this dry and then when I come back, um, after it's dry, I'll add another layer of another color. And look how fun that is. I love this. And I love the look of the side when it's just blended like this. It's so pretty. So pretty, but I'll be back. Okay, come say hi. <laughs> Set, go. Go slow. Good hey girl. <laughs> Good job. That is so fun. We are sanding this big Vintage son of a gun. It's beautiful. It's going to be quick work. This is before. Professionals. We'll be back. always really cool to um, seal things because then everything gets deeper and richer and darker and just pretty just so much prettier and more finished looking so um, maybe you watching me seal it might you might be able to see that I don't know on colors that are not black I like to use um, like higher sheens like the semi-gloss and 
just gives it a nice shine to it. It just looks so much more finished. Coming off, eh? I'm stirring up because this is the big one. This is what we usually get the giant ones. It's more, it's less um, expensive than buying a bunch of the little ones, although it's all very expensive. Um, the the large ones run like fifty six dollars or something like that at Lowe's. And then I got my awesome sealer brush with all the bristles. It carries lots of product. 